Hello to everyone. This is Gunter Steiner. This is Speed City. Welcome back to the fastest hour in radio, Speed City. Okay, gearheads, it's that time again. We're at Circuit of the Americas, and we're in the hos hospitality. And I'm sitting across from Kevin Magnuson. Kevin, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. Were you expecting this Texas heat? No, but, um, you know, a couple of races this year has been pretty hard. We came from Qatar uh, last week. That was very, very hot. The hardest race I've ever done. Um, so uh, we, we're in good shape at the moment. <laughs> well, I'm hoping we don't have the humidity that you had at Qatar because that really was the craziest thing. I mean, let's talk about that just a little bit. That I've never seen anything like that. Drivers being helped out of their cars and I mean, like Logan had to stop his race. That was crazy. It was very, very tough. Uh, when, you know, one thing is when it's physical, you know, that, you know, if it requires a lot of strength and, and stamina, that's that's one thing. But the heat is some, it's different. You know, you, there's no escape from that really. So, uh, you know, it, it helps a lot being in, you know, strong fitness. But um, I don't know if, you know, if, if that, if you can never train, you know, enough to, uh, resist all that heat uh, the cars get very hot and if it's then hotter in the weather you know it uh, it was 35 degrees or something like that um, in, in the race or even less so that's maybe five degrees I'm talking Celsius yeah, yeah. Th five degrees or so more than like an average race so that's not all you know the, the, the car heats up a lot more than five degrees when it's that much hotter in, in, in ambient temperature so it, it just gets terribly hot yeah, it's funny. We were talking about on the post-race show, and somebody, like a caller, was questioning fitness, and I was like, I can't imagine these guys being any more fit. I just don't. I'm glad you said it. Said I don't think it's a level of fitness thing. I think it was just the human body can only take so much heat. So, uh, I mean, it it was uh, it was pretty amazing for us to to watch and to talk about. Well, I, I don't. I do think, you know, it made a difference. You know, I, I um, I'm just saying it. it I don't think you can ever train enough, but I do yeah. think it makes a difference. And I think the, the the guys that wasn't in good enough shape, they found out in in Qatar. Well, let's talk about Austin. Um, home race for you guys, and got a big upgrade coming. But before we get to the upgrade, let's talk about what Austin means to you. I mean, what do you get to do when you're here? I know, you know, we're right close to this Circuit of America is just you know ten minutes from the heart of Austin, and you guys get to do some in, some fun things while you're here. Do you stay before and after? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I love you know I love it over here. Uh, I l I've always liked coming to the U.S. You know, whether for holiday or for 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 racing. Um, I came out a little early with with my family, so I've got my uh, my wife and and two girls here. Um, and a couple of other family members as well. So uh, we we chose this race as kind of the, the one race of the year that we go all together and, and do a bit of holidaying. So that's a, that's a really good thing. And the race, of course, itself is, is fantastic. Um, track is amazing. The atmosphere is great. You know, it's like in volume, the biggest race of the year, I think, in terms of how many spectators come out and just the size of this whole uh, event. Um, so I really enjoy it. Of course, it's our home race as well. So it's there's that part too. Uh, so in many ways, the best best race of the year. And I'm thinking about we've had Miami for a couple of years now. We got Vegas coming up next month. But I, I, I want to get your opinion on this. I've heard a little bit about like, Miami and Vegas are all about the show, and Austin is like back to the basics. You know, great racing, great racetrack. I mean, not to take anything away from Miami and Vegas, because Miami was amazing, but do you feel a little bit that way? I don't know. I think this, at least in my Formula One, in my in my years in, in F1, this was the American race. This was the U.S. race, and um, you know, so in a way, it feels like the original U.S. Grand Prix. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if this is um, like it's it's different. You know, it's the Texas. Texas Grand Prix, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, now we have three U.S. Grand Prix, and they, and they are they are different, you know, they they're unique in their, their own ways. Uh, this is very much like the Texan Texan vibe, and uh, it was the original U.S. Grand Prix, at least in my years in Formula One. Um, 
first first race that we that I did in the US in F1. So um, I've always enjoyed coming up. I know that you guys haven't had the performance you've wanted all year long, and you do have this upgrade coming. I think a lot of American fans are looking forward to this, and but I, I've been hesitant to put too high expectation on an upgrade, but it's a pretty big upgrade, isn't it? It's a lot of changes. You know, it's a very different looking car. Um, and yeah, we, we always when you bring an upgrade, you're very hopeful and it, it's exciting because the car looks different and you want it to perform well, but actually on paper, it's not meant to be that much better. I think the, the exciting thing is well, also the frustrating at the same time. But you know, this, the car that we've been racing this year has underperformed. Com you know, on on, mm -hmm. on paper it looks very good, and on the real track it didn't perform as well. So we're hoping that gap is a lot smaller. So although on paper it's not meant to be so much better than the old car, it's it might actually deliver what it what is meant to. Uh, that's the hope anyway. And nonetheless, it, it's going to be great research into next year's car. You know, the next year's car is looks a lot mi more like like the one we're just bringing here and uh, uh, there'll be a lot of important learning um, with with this car so this this could be a lot of what we look for in the 24 car visually and and technically yeah exactly the next year's car is likely to to be um, very much same concept as, as uh, the car we brought here so in your dreams, what what do you guys do with this upgrade here this weekend? Two guys in the points on Sunday. What's your what's your hope? That would be uh, that would be a dream result for sure. Uh, two two cars in the points in in the U.S. race. You know we uh, we really want to do well here o always in front of our you know uh, title sponsor and in front of uh, you know Haas Automation, our home crowds. Um, yeah, of course, that would be uh, a dream. I'm going to talk to Gunther about a MoneyGram later, but I mean, it seems like a fantastic fit for you guys. It just, it, it's a it's a good big American sponsor, and a lot of people don't know about them. And I think this is going to be beneficial for, for both of you guys. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's um, it's it's been great having you know MoneyGram come on board as a title sponsor, and you know, of course, the 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 main thing as a Formula One team is getting that extra resource to, to develop and uh, you know that there's no secret that means means a lot to the team and its performance but uh, they're also just a great partner you know they they f fit in to the team uh, very well and I think you know it's um, it's a company that uh, share a lot of the same values yeah does it feel uh, a little more comfortable or or like there's a little breathing room having a sponsor like this i think it sends a signal to to everyone both within the team and the outside world that you know the, the team is in a in a healthy strong spot uh you know looking good for the future and there's some, some stability that all all the employees in in haas uh, f1 team will will you know will feel and uh, also Expanding the t the team, I think into the future, attracting new talent will you know that, that this this stuff helps a lot, and it's it's just a, a strong signal. I didn't think about it from that aspect across the board. You know, uh, that comfort level, attracting talent from not just drivers but across the board, because we all know it's a team sport. So, well, Kevin Magnuson, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it, and excited for you to be here this weekend, and wish you the best of luck. Thank you, appreciate it.